Well, hello there, guys. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of Strategic Command Classic. Uh, that's right, this is the original. Well, not the super original, but one of the first. Um, and we're going to be playing one of the operations available here in the game, of which there are quite a few. We've got Operation Z, Japan Strikes Pearl Harbor. We've got the Philippines, and this would be the Japanese invasion of the Philippines, um, the initial invasion. Now, I'll be honest, I have not yet actually tried the Japanese invasion of the Philippines, but I think we'll leave this for a little later. I want to take something that everybody's familiar with, and that's going to either be Peleliu or potentially um, the invasion of Okinawa. So one or the other. I think we're going to try to land on Peleliu. What about that, guys? We've got a USA start here. Let's see how we do. I'm going to keep it at 3D units, although I do understand that some people prefer NATO counters. All right, guys, 30 turns remaining. Look at <clears throat> that airbase right there. Let's just reconnoiter the island a bit. We've, of course, got the Five Brothers <clears throat> Hills over here. Uh, Nagardalok over there, and at the very north, we should have the, yep, that's the radar hill up there in the airfield. So, I guess we could land some of the guys here and land some of them a little farther off. These are going to be 2nd Marine Special Forces, and I know for sure the enemy is going to have bunkers here. Um, but it doesn't look like we have any destroyers or anything like that. Um, we've just got basically infantry landing units, so let's go for it. I'm going to land this guy here. It's going to take some casualties, but look at that. Not very strong Japanese defenses here. It looks like just irregular units there, um, or a garrison company in this case. And I just want to make sure we're landing the correct units. There's another Special Forces unit. And we're going to unload them right there. Attack the Japanese right away. So we are trying to form a beachhead here. It looks like we heavily damaged that pillbox just from the combat itself. So that's good. This is a safe landing zone, at least for now. Although you can see the enemy guns over here, I want to put in a stop to those guns. So I'm actually driving up, and again, just going to try to shut them down, get rid of that coastal artillery battery. Now, the only thing I'm sort of uncertain about is whether we should go ahead and just attack over here, or whether we should be landing forces over here in the north as well um, at the airfield. So I might try to do both. I might try to land some guys here, and some, of course, at that northern side. So going for those garrison detachments, again, just wiping them off the beach would be quite helpful so we could take the first airbase area. Don't think that there are any locations we need to take here to the south, but we should send some units over there to the northeast. So I'm going to send the special forces this way. Just a few units. I think we'll take like four or five to hit the airfield to the north. And that's a tank battalion. Send another special forces battalion here. And Puller's HQ. He's going to land in the north, so he's going to be responsible for all of these guys over here. Um, we'll also send some artillery that way, and one more infantry division. And the rest of our guys are just going to land right here. Well, this is actually hoping that we do have another HQ to drop. Yes, we got Harris's HQ. He's going to be the man to lead the troops over in this area. Wonderful. That'll make things quite a bit easier, especially calling in resources and resupply, things of that nature. Um, let's also drop an RD unit. Already going to open fire there on the Japanese infantry. And in fact, I want to try to drop a few more of our special forces a little farther north. Let's do something like that. Beautiful. Take the fight straight to the enemy. We've got to keep our eye out for those coastal artillery guns. Those are going to be a problem. Given some time. Hennekin's HQ. Put him over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys and girls. By the way, for those of you wondering why we're doing Strategic Command Pacific and not um, Close Combat 2, unfortunately, we can't record Close Combat 2 any time we record or um, try to use Bandicam or OBS or live stream it. Uh, it just says action not supported and it shuts down. So, unfortunately, guys, I'll, I'll try to get like a 
actual, you know, basic recording of it. Um, but I think that's one of those games you might just have to play on your own. Targeting those coastal batteries. Right, guys so for those of you just joining we are playing the battle of palelu although as we go through this stream we very well may choose other battles initially i wanted to do the um, japanese invasion of the philippines but i didn't think a lot of people would really you know know about that so i figured you know let's let's stick to something people are familiar with got one more unit over here that's the marines artillery I don't want to send the HQ forward, so I will end the turn there and turn it over to the Japanese. Damn minefields. That's always a problem. All right, they're resupplying those units. Let's just hope they don't resupply the coastal batteries. Quite a few of those coastal batteries, though, and they are dishing out hell on the landing craft. All right, folks. Well, we continue. And again, I wanted to take this group and have them land over here at the northern airbase. But depending on how this fight goes, we might need to actually just land here and assist with the fighting. Uh, I'm going to keep targeting... Actually, you know what? Since this infantry unit is right out in the open, I'll target him. But we should probably really be targeting the enemy artillery there. Push forward. We cannot reinforce this guy. We do have an HQ out here, but it might not be the correct HQ for the tank. So I'm going to bring... Where is that other HQ? Puller's HQ. I'm almost certain this is going to be the correct one. We, we might have to wait just a little bit before we can actually use it. Um, artillery? All right, not bad. Breaking through there as well. So essentially, we're just trying to open the beach up. Steamroll East, take Walt Ridge, Asia Barracks, the Five Brothers, and this village here. So I think we should just start pushing forward. Uh, that tank really does need um, assistance, though. So we're going to forget about it for now. Why can't this battalion artillery land? That's a little weird. There we go. All right, let's shut down this gun. And again, we're just pushing forward at this point. Quite a few enemy guns, though, kind of waiting for us here, so I'm going to go straight for the anti-tank weapons. Not that we have a lot of tanks to begin with, but it's good just to avoid that sort of reactionary fire there. Yeah, I'm almost thinking we're going to be forced to drop some of our special forces here, some of our Marines. So let's do it uh, and attack the guns immediately. Damn. We've got our own artillery, too. And a tremendous amount of guns up here as well. Um, Let's keep heading to that airfield. I don't want to give up our plan here. And now we only have three units to, to kind of accomplish this plan. Again, I'm just keeping an eye at the jungle on the fringes of this battle. That's where the Japanese are really going to be able to uh, hammer away at us. And up there, of course, those guns are not going to make things easy. Let's do some amphibious transport. Get him out here as soon as possible. Ending the turn. <clears throat> yeah, we've got some reinforcements at the first airbase. Look at that. Quite a few Japanese reinforcements popping up there. Again, those guns are the biggest danger to us. It's just the massive amount of artillery that the Japanese are fielding here on Palelu. Not 
not too bad. I think we, we have no choice. We've got to try to save that unit. Um, thankfully, we can finally reinforce our tank. So let's do that. Let's just get some reinforcements to these guys on the beach. They've taken so many hits from the enemy minefields. So any unit that can be reinforced will be. Um, we don't just don't have enough points to do it um, all around. So you know what? In the meantime, let's start heading for the air base here. Look at those enemy tanks. That's going to be a problem. Max reinforcement here for the artillery. Defender 2. This one we got, and I think it's just because it's a garrison unit. See over here, they're actually getting defensive artillery. Hey, how you doing, Robert? Good to see you, man. Let's see. Again, we might not be able to use it this turn, but next turn, it's going to be very useful to break into the airbase. Put the general over here to provide that support. Move up deep with the Marine Special Forces, and it looks like the enemy tanks are not, you know, up to up to full strength. They seem to be pretty beaten up here. But here we go. So this is our second attack. Not even sure this second attack was a good idea, but we had to try it. Off the beach is a good idea. All right, folks, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, we could uh, we could take a look. We would have to go to another one of the strategic commands games, but it's a possibility. Also, like, with the locations that the Japanese fought in, their tanks were much more, how can I put this, like, anti-infantry we weapons than they were anti-tank weapons. Um, you know, they certainly wanted, like, uh, the Chigo and tanks like that. I think, I can't remember which one of the Japanese tanks, but some of them were pretty good at moving through, like, jungle terrain, for instance. They didn't have the best guns or the best armor or anything like that, but there were, there were mild benefits. Let's get to this airbase. Come on now, boys. See how I want to approach this attack. It's going to be head on. Again, that's a garrison unit. He doesn't have a lot of strength. But with that defensive artillery, that makes things quite a bit easier for them. Let's back up with the infantry, and then we're going to push forward with this... I'm not going to call him fresh, but... Uh, not completely dead infantry unit. And actually, I kind of want to hit that tank, especially since it's Defender 2. Um, I'm going to hit that tank. That was a glorious attack by the Marine Special Forces Division. And as for this Marine's division, you know what? I'm going to make things easier for the rest of our units. Let's hit that tank. We're going to take a loss there, but getting rid of the enemy armor is going to make me breathe a lot easier for sure. Try to kind of soften the enemy up a bit here. And can we reinforce this guy? We can. It's just one point, so you know what? I'd rather attack with him. Maybe we should bring the rest of these arty pieces up. Hold on first. Let's see if we can get a kill. We could potentially get a kill against that tank. Move this guy up. This general up as well for a little bit of a morale boost. And I do want to get that armor up to full strength, but to do that, we have to get closer to the general. Let's do that. Yeah, 
there's no way out of here with this particular unit. Um, and now let's go to our northern approach and see if this ends up working. This is going to be the test right here. Boom. Okay, actually, they don't have a lot here defending it. They've got a construction battalion. We might actually manage to take this northern area without much of a fight. That's pretty awesome. Let the tank battalion out. Like, this was just something I decided to do, is just take this other unit, kind of send them, send them to the north in an attempt to take this airfield. And it's actually working. All right. You know, unfortunately, we have to wait till next turn to actually grab it, but yeah, it looks like we took the northern airfield with, with three units, or as long as they don't start defending it, you know, really heavily here. All right, not such a bad approach, I don't think. It was just a standard garrison battalion. Thought it was an HQ. All right, here we go. Okay, nice. We've got some regimental combat teams deploying as well. So, of course, we are going to be getting some reinforcements. We knew that that guy was going to be beaten at the point, but this is the good news over here. And we might even drop over here at the point with these units uh, sort of advanced in inland. I'm thinking, though, probably the, the better option would be to move the guys over here, get out at Hill 100, and go to the Walt Ridge. You've got to keep in mind, though, that these mountains are pretty impassable. Um, we'd have to actually follow this road. Another option is just to send them to the north and assist the rest of our guys with taking Radar Hill um, and the air base. But I almost feel like these guys might manage on their own. So there we go. Um, it's heavily damaged in combat. It's now under American control, and we're just going to go ahead and walk through these different buildings, make sure that the enemy can't use these as a garrison anymore. We'll deal with that gun soon, but I want to keep my distance... I guess we'll decide once we get there. How you doing, General Kenobi? Good to see you, man. All right, here we go. Quite expensive to transport these units. But again, since we don't have a port of any sort, um, we need to make sure that these are amphibious transports. All right, folks, the assault on the first airfield. Here we go. I thought the viewership seemed light here. I didn't mention this to anybody on Discord. Um, hmm. I don't know if we have anybody here that's also an admin on Discord, um, because we could drop uh, sort of a message there. It's okay. All right, um, let's see. Soften her up even more. I really do want to take out those weak enemy tanks. So let's hit them, and just to finish her up, I think we can bring in our own armor. Well done, boys. All right, push forward. We're going straight for the Asia's Barracks here. Bit of a strange name, but I'm not going to argue. And I want to see if we can reinforce that unit. We certainly can. Back up to seven, not bad. The enemy seems to be re be resupplying these men pretty regularly. I uh, no, this is not a new game. I wish it was. <clears throat> this is actually a classic, um, classic um, strategic command World War II Pacific. I kind of want to take this location with the general, but as you can see. It looks like only infantry units can actually actually take the objective points. Uh, generals do not count. All right, I think that's it for this turn. I want to make sure I haven't forgotten anybody. Yeah, we might as well this guy forward. 
kind of just going to ignore the Japanese over here on the northern point. Um, that's it. End the turn. They never went full technology. They, they went pretty good with their navy and uh, some of their planes, like the Zeros. Of course, they didn't like to put much armor on them, but yeah, their tanks uh, leave a lot to be desired. I mean, what I initially wanted to do for the stream and what we might do depending on how many people show up is I wanted to do the invasion of the Philippines from the uh, Japanese perspective. And then we really get to see kind of the, the Japanese tanks in action. They do have their uses. Uh, in heavily jungle areas or mangrove areas, they can do okay. Against infantry, at least. There we go, guys. Getting some support from our ships and aircraft to further weaken the Japanese forces here on Pelelu. All right, let's keep on pushing. I think we've almost pushed them out, but look at that. They keep reinforcing those units, which is quite amazing. I want to cut off the Asia's barracks uh, area. And I did a big no-no in strategic command. I clicked away, which means you cannot use the attack now. That was my bad. Um, let's wipe them out at the airbase completely. I'm just gonna suppress them with everything I've got here. Throwing every single artillery shell at that base in an effort to break through finally with the men. Here we go. And again, if they just keep reinforcing that, it's gonna be really tough for us to ever get in. Um, I'll also try to reinforce this infantry unit back up to seven. There we go. I think we can bring this guy in. In fact, unfortunately, we can't move out with any of them. Otherwise, I'd bring him in. Oh, there we go. Okay. Looks like I know where these ships are going to have to land. Right there on the coast. All right, freshies. Get to the battlefield. Oh, it went down after 1942. Wow. We gotta wait for enough points to get an amphibious transport. Alright, let's keep heading east over here. Maybe we can take Radar Hill without much of a fight as well. Um, I think we do need to kill that gun, though. We're actually going to end up taking more damage. And, yeah, there's no way we're going to get through over here. We can attempt to push through, but the Japanese seem to have it well defended. So, for sure, we're going to have to take this area first before we even can imagine taking Radar Hill. the entire island from the Five Brothers Hill. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that artillery is looking pretty bad. Get him back to full strength. And again, look at that. The enemy getting their unit back to full strength once again. Um, all right, let's bombard it. artillery we've, we've actually thrown at this unit and how strong they are to keep on fighting after all this time but i don't think they're gonna be able to stand uh, withstand this attack in fact we'll get this general out of the way push the second 321st battalion in got him down to three man we're so close 
Again, that defensive artillery may save them. Beautiful. We are also, like, directly over the airfield, so this certainly counts. I'm not going to make that attack, because we'll actually end up taking damage from the enemy, but we have removed the threat of the Japanese planes here completely. So that does feel good. I'm going to have to move back with this tank as well. Oh boy, yeah. We definitely have to fight our way back to the airfield and move up with the rest of the men, because we cannot stand, or we can we have no chance of beating these guys in combat um, all the way back here. So I'm going to move the tank back too. Air base destroyed. Now we've got the Asia's Barracks, Walt Ridge, the Five Brothers artillery location, and of course, Radar Hill over here. Now the good news is that piece, that artillery piece cannot move. It's still a problem, but he can't take the airfield back as long as we hold this area. Um, so let's just see here quickly what the combat's going to be like. We're going to find out one way or the other as we head towards Radar Hill. Again, another idea is to swing one of the infantry south. I don't even know if we can get around this. Yeah, I guess we could, and then drop him off, although it'd be a hell of a Hell of a swim um, over to Radar Hill. That could actually work. Oh, yeah, this game is a lot like Panther General, for sure. There's that amphibious transport. Wonderful. <clears throat> okay, let's end it. Incredibly, they are trying to break out with that unit and more elements of 321st Regimental Combat Team. If only they also gave us the points to afford all the amphibious transports. All right, not bad, though. Not bad at all. Um, in fact, we could start dealing with this gun over here. Could have sworn we had another guy, but it's okay. Um, amphibious transport for him. And what about the tank? Let's see if we can do it. No, we'll, we'll have to wait a turn. Again, I think removing the threat over here is going to be extremely important. So let's hit that unit before going on to the Asia's barracks. Hey, Julius, any plans to do a Panzer Corps 2 full campaign? You know, typically, um, what I do is I determine, like, the next game I'm going to play on the interest level. Of, of the viewers and stuff. And unfortunately, anytime I've done Panzer Corps 2, the interest is really low in terms of views and likes. And the same is kind of true here with Strategic Command, it seems. So this is just kind of lessons we learn, you know, by, by playing on this channel and, you know, kind of learning what people want to watch, what they don't want to watch. But pr I'll say probably not. You know, it's unlikely. Like, we're more likely to do a um, strategic mind let's play because the interest is there. People are actually willing to watch the videos. Yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. It's just, you know, that's, that's how we have to approach it. We just, I'd love to play, like, all the games I love, um, but it just doesn't work like that. And even, like, streams like this that don't get a lot of attention, I kind of appreciate them in a way because, like I said, it, it helps me to learn what most of the viewers want to see. And there are games out there that, like, those of you guys that like Strategic Command, you'll also like that game, and so will that particular viewer, if, if that makes sense. Boom! There we go. Nice. Clearing the way to the barracks. We've got to get rid of all of the remnants here. 
I don't want them attacking our men um, in flank attacks or anything like that. The problem is we also have to reinforce these men, but we don't have the appropriate points to do that. It's going to take a while. Hey, Kovini. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Problem with strategic games is that not everyone is a fan of strategy games. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. But, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> this channel is mostly strategy games. What I noticed, though, is um, like games like Call to Arms, Gates of Hell. Um, what else is popular with our viewers? Uh, Close Combat, for instance. Like, basically anybody will watch it. Uh, whereas stuff like this, it really does take a specific kind of gamer. Yeah, that's not looking like a good attack, but I'm going to keep on moving towards Radar Hill. I see their artillery here, so maybe we could avoid the infantry and just hit the arty and take that location. Kind of sneaky, but I think we have to be in this fight. All right, ending the turn. Well, maybe also I don't pick the greatest titles. Like, I, that's why I always ask people to comment. Because if people, like, have suggestions on how to get more viewers, like, I'm all, I'm all ears, you know what I mean? I love to read that stuff. There's been some really good suggestions, like, with the uh, Total War um, campaigns and stuff, where somebody's like, look, you know, you don't have to show everything. Just show us the good parts and, like, the best parts of the battle. And, I'm, and now that's kind of how I'm recording that series. Because I get it, you know, but if no one says anything, then I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Only attack grogs, exactly. Only grog yards. That's okay. Occasionally, I don't mind doing a stream for the grog yards, man. I'm not smart enough to be a grog yard, but uh, I like to consider myself like uh, a little drummer boy sort of deal, if that makes sense. <laughs> I uh, I can play for the grog yards, and they can laugh at my tactics. It's all good. Okay. It's a give-and-take relationship. Let's move in with these Marines. <clears throat> in fact, I kind of want to take that gun out. Um, yeah. Let's see. Defender 2, Attacker 2. Yeah. Let's get rid of one of the guns at least. We are going to take losses, but this is something we won't have to worry about anymore. We'll also reinforce any damaged units. But again, we don't have an infinite amount of reinforcement points, though look at that. We can get them back to 10. We can probably get the tank back to a de reasonable number, to 8. Hey, guys, not bad. We don't have anything to give to the artillery. That's too bad, but uh, we'll focus on them a little bit later. Now, I only attacked there because the odds were completely in our favor. Otherwise, I wouldn't want to risk that guy. And I think destroying this unit allows us to focus entirely on moving through the causeway here, um, through the barracks to Walt Ridge. We could just leave him, but nah, that doesn't, doesn't sit right with me. Oh. See, even that's not looking so good for us. We just destroyed the town of Omak just by being here. I don't know why, but oh, all right. Marines, relax. We're trying to help these people. Um, let's give them a little what for. In fact, we can fire at the enemy HQ from here. I say why not. Try to scare them up a little bit. Now we'll focus entirely on the enemy at the barracks. Also trying to weaken any potential stronghold locations. There we go. Hey, how you doing, Taffy O'Keefe? So I'm just looking here. If we keep moving... We still have to... Yeah, we could just get to the radar hill with these guys. I think that's going to have to be our approach. You know, for the for the rest of the guys that are about to land, we could try to drop them off here, but we saw what happened to our men at the point. 
when we tried to stop here, and it just didn't work out very well. So I'm thinking about potentially dropping them off just over here on the beach and just heading inland. All right, let's see. Get that HQ out here. We gotta wait. And again, I would have done Close Combat, but we're going to have to pick a different one because we cannot do Close Combat 2. Uh, it, will, it refuses to be recorded. It's like one of those uh, Amazonian tribes that thinks if you record them that you're stealing their soul. That's, that's how the game responds when I try to record. Or scream it or whatever. Just gives me an action not supported message and that's it. Okay, not good news for us, guys. Um, Japanese reinforcements have arrived from Babeltua. I don't know where that is. But that doesn't sound good. All right, here we go. Uh, let's eliminate that unit once and for all. But I am going to target um, the barracks with our artillery. Because that's what we really need to weaken. This guy we can just take out with a couple attacks. I'm also going to keep putting pressure on that gun there. Yeah, all of those are good recommendations for streams, um, for sure, Obi-Wan. All of those are good recommendations. Um, I think people would definitely show up for a Graviteam stream. My only issue with Graviteam is just I've played so much Graviteam, as you guys can see, um, that I'm a little burnt out on Graviteam Tactics. Just a little bit. Right, for him, I'm going to try to actually get reinforcements, and he can actually get up to max strength, which is great news. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. So, of course, this um, Japanese air base or airfield, we've completely taken over. But what I still want to do is wipe out that artillery piece. I don't want to go on, like, a fool's errand and start trying to wipe out every single artillery piece they've got set up here. That's just madness. So, we'll kill that one. We'll move inland. I think these mountains will protect us from these bad boys over here. And then we've got to move up the Five Brothers Ridge and take out these, AT these artillery guns. Um... I see no point, again, in, like, going and searching and trying to hunt uh, individual ones out. Fortunately, these Marines are in big trouble, and we don't have a general here to really help them out. We're still going to move towards Radar Hill, but almost certainly this is going to have to be part of the main offensive. And again, we have to do amphibious transport. We can't just do a standard transport. Reinforce, max to eight, not bad. All right. Well, at least the beach has been cleared. Look at the distance on those guns. It's just insanity. So for sure, we're going to have to wipe them out before proceeding. That Five Brothers Ridge can see around the entire island. Okay, guys. Just got some hits here on Amangal Mountain. Nice. Trying to soften them, soften them up a bit. All right. Let's keep pushing here. So quite a few reinforcements arriving, I believe. Um, I might actually push this guy 
inland. Let's get our tank on, on the job here. At this point, we rush in with the rest of the men. They're not going to have enough shells for all of our infantry. We definitely need to move this artillery up, but for now, I'll just settle for some well-placed shots. And now let's kill that gun. Beautiful. Death Valley heavily damaged from combat. All right, you don't say. So the Death Valley area has been liberated. And again, even at risk of, of the uh, unit's life here, I am going to throw them into this attack. We've got to destroy these Japanese before they can reinforce. We're so close to being able to destroy this guy. Just a single attack would wipe him out. <clears throat> but we're not going to get that single attack. Not this turn, at least. Reinforce. Uh, back up to 10. Reinforce our artillery. We've needed to do this for a while. And unfortunately, we'll have to wait for uh, amphibious transports. So in the meantime, we're just going to look through these units and see if anybody can get reinforcements here. If not, we'll wait till next turn. No big, no big deal. As for these guys, I still don't think we can push through here safely. But we're going to hang back over here at Arakoro Point. And likely, we'll have to bring one of our craft over or just take it with this army. All right. Okay. So yeah, that reinforcement, they really do quite a good job. Although, look at that, the HQ unit is out in the open now. And destroying their HQ would stop them from being able to reinforce. Although, yeah, they're doing pretty good with the HQ unit. Let's just focus on attacking this guy. And we could probably attack that unit as well. Get them off our backs. Hits, good hits. This is the guy in trouble right here. And look at that. We get him back up to 10 the next turn, at least. Get this guy back up to 8. Yeah, we should not have gone for the HQ. We could have easily routed him this turn. But look at that. Got some fresh troops, and I believe we can also send out some additional troops from here. Nope, still don't have enough for that amphibious transport. Still stubborn enough to try and approach Radar Hill here. Probably not a good idea, though. Because they'll, re they'll respond to this fairly quickly. Alright, ending the turn. Look at that resupply! Just got, like, they must have underground tunnels here because they got every single one of their men back and hit with change. Alright, we 
got some additional support there on Amiendal Mountain. And that's why I think it's a good idea to just kind of keep those Marines back there. Um, we won't actually attack. I'll show you guys what I mean. We'll just keep them over here at Arakoro Point. And maybe just with continuous bombardment of this area, we'll end up taking it, you know? Unfortunately, that tank is definitely toast. And let's just focus on him. Come on. Nice. There we go. Nicely done, nicely done. Let's get one more shot with the tanks. There we go, boys. And I'm actually going to send the tanks east to assist this unit um, as they move towards Nagardaluk. Almost certain there's going to be defenders there, and sure enough, there are some Japanese defenders. So let's take some of our men and head towards the Nagardaluk area over there to the east. Take the barracks. There we go, guys. Asia's barracks under marine control. That's what I like to see. Got to move on to Walt Ridge. But who I really want to target is that artillery piece there at the Five Brothers Ridge. Evidently, the HQ has pretty good defenses. Um, so let's target the infantry over here on the hill. Shoot them down, Marines. All right. Pretty decent um, fight there, I think. However, still like to get reinforcements for him. And this guy's a little cut off from the rest of the men, though he should fare well. No, we're still waiting. Okay. Say watch this beat. What's up, buddy? Seventeen turns. That countdown is happening. All right, folks. No more kidding around. Now we've got to get to the Five Brothers Ridge. Um, it looks like we're getting flanked over here by an infantry unit. Let's see how much damage we do just with the artillery. No, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. Alright, what's done is done. Not bad. So at least this way they're not going to really damage our HQ. Uh, but again, we should be using this artillery to bust through to Five Brothers Ridge. It's going to have to wait a bit. Good attempt, boys. A good attempt. All right, we're going to have to get these guys back up to max strength if we can. If not, then we got to drive them straight in for the attack. See, that would actually go very poorly for us. Let's try and get this guy back up to a, an even eight. Although, again, it's probably going to take some time. And look at this guy. We're still managing to reinforce the... Um, the units they have over here on the ridge. Really frustrating. Maybe we should kind of wait before we go to Nagar to look, and we should throw everybody into this fight. Come on, boys. Not too bad. Kind of a slow day. What about you guys?
Nice. 150. So before it was 89. I guess the 89 is only for infantry units. Damn, they've got some fierce fighters there. Again, we're going to have to dedicate all of our artillery to just vaporizing this unit. Have to send one of our guys down to deal with them. Um, and let's try to reinforce him. I'm throwing everything at five brothers here. Look at that. Attacker would take damage here. Unbelievable. We're still going to take the risk. But the defensive artillery is really what's stopping us from doing any damage. Look at that. Even if it's just one extra reinforcement, we need to try and hold the area. So I'll allow it. And of course, now we'll try to bring these tanks over. Well, I'm not sure how what kind of a difference they're going to really offer. We can at least probably get rid of the Japanese attacking us here on the flank. This is a tough fight. Look at that. No way, man. Let's get this guy back. We're running back through the jungle to escape the area. All right, let's end it there. Fifteen turns remaining. I hope this is sufficient. Again, we can attack. That's going to go very poorly for us. So I'm going to see if I can't find where they're getting this additional artillery support. Um, and in the meantime, we've got to try to reinforce these guys kind of uh, holding the line, essentially. Here we go. Hopefully now we get through five brothers. We're finally starting to do some damage here, guys. It's not without a tremendous amount of loss, but we are starting to break down that artillery. Get up the hill, boys! Hoorah! All right. Now, again, they're probably going to try to attack this area, so I want to get those tanks inland as quickly as possible. But we've got to deal with the enemy here, too, so let's just destroy them. Beautifully done. And we're going to move this infantry over here. And I'm still going to use our artillery to hammer away at the uh, enemy expeditionary force here. Yeah, let's reinforce them. We're out here in the jungle, fairly close to HQ2. I guess it's a calm place to reinforce. The Japanese are going to be, you know, north of this line right down the middle. I think these are pretty safe areas. Although they probably have some coastal forces here. As long as they don't find us, we should be fine. Is that amphibious transport? And... Yeah, 
like that's all we can do this turn. Okay, they are, the only reason they're actually losing units here, um, it must be number one from our bombing that is happening, you know, at the end of every turn, but they're actually trying to attack our units out of the city itself, or the village, whatever you want to call it, and that's costing them. Unfortunately, look at that. Attacker minus two, defender zero. They would not take losses with this attack, but it might be necessary to lose some men in an effort to just get the artillery not to focus on us. So I'm doing it. Even here. Yeah, we're gonna eventually break through. Get the rest of this artillery a little bit closer too. And I'm still chasing um, that enemy unit that flanked us. Although maybe we should have stayed, stayed away. I don't think he can damage us, but he's quite a bit stronger. Wow, look at that. They reinforced Five Brothers Ridge. So sneaky, man. Unbelievable. Oh, we just stay put. Trying to find another way up the mountain here, but that's not going to happen. Um, what we can do, send this guy over to Walt Ridge to reinforce one of the units that gets tired of attacking that area. But seeing that they've gotten this far, I think they're just going to keep reinforcing that gun. Oh, nice. At least next turn we'll be able to bombard it with artillery. To get farther up on Arakoro Point, maybe they won't see me there. And we'll end that turn. Okay, it's getting a little harder for them to reinforce, at least. Um, let's see if our Artie can reach it. Nice. Not bad. talking folks we have taken the five brothers area that is huge absolutely massive still can't reinforce um but we're really close to the hq so it could just be a lack of points i wonder if this is going to be easier to break through to it might be. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys, not bad. We took the garden lock. We took um, the five brothers location. 
now we've got to take Walt Ridge and the radar station. I believe that's all they've got left. But they have no shortage of fighters here. That's for sure. I want to bring these guys back at some point or just kind of hold the enemy off because they do have another radio direction finder station here that could be a problem. That radar hill location and the Walt Ridge are the last two areas we do have to take. All right. Wait a minute. We can bring over the HQ, can't we? Let's get our tank away from here, too. I'll just keep him around to defend the HQ unit. But I want to bring him actually to the fight. Okay, 12 turns. Now, the last thing I need is them sneaking up to attack us here. Um, but let's hit the HQ. We should try to get rid of this, this headquarters once and for all. Problem is, all of these units on the Five Brothers Ridge are really well dug in. See that? That's pretty rough. And I'm going to send these two units after the artillery. Hopefully we can reinforce this one. If not, though, it's not the end of the world. I'm just going to knock out that arty unit, uh, knock out that HQ unit, and I believe we're through. Send that... I'll, I'll keep this infantry unit, I should say, and the guard lock, but the rest of them are going to have to head back. So far, no more reinforcements, but what I would really love is some air support at some point here. Let's start moving closer to Radar Hill. Maybe things have quieted it down. I don't expect they have, though. Definitely not. We are just an easy target over there at that point. That's the problem. They still have quite a few uh, infantry units over here. These are just coastal infantry units that weren't wiped out on the initial assault. We kind of, well, just kind of stepped past them. Single attack and he's destroyed. Uh, let's head for this artillery. Wow. Well, again, I think one more attack and he's finished. In fact, we could even fire from distance and see if we can hit him with artillery. In that turn.
Texas T, how you doing, buddy? This is the Battle of Peleliu. Robots heavily damaged from combat, indeed. All right, let's get rid of that HQ. You know what, I'll reserve this for Walt Ridge. So we've got some additional artillery somewhere here. We're just not able to do enough damage on those attacks against the Artie. That HQ is finished. Old Baldy heavily damaged from combat. All right. Um, what I really want, though, is to reinforce this guy. Not bad. It's only to six, but it's certainly useful. And I might still chase the uh, enemy infantry off the map here. If they keep moving, they're going to get shot at. So now we just have a single location that we really have to take to get a victory. Um, and I believe that's actually two locations. That's the Walt Ridge and Radar Hill. Yeah, we still don't have Radar Hill. What a shame. Uh, we will rush Walt Ridge. We might just have to ignore that already for now. But I'm thinking that we'll probably have to move up the rest of our artillery and just bombard it. All right, let's end that turn. Make sure there's nobody else I can reinforce. Hold on. location here. Geneva Convention must have something against this. Okay, Negasibus Air Base damaged. All right, it's... And I'm much more concerned with Walt Ridge itself, and I do want to start testing Walt Ridge to see kind of how much damage we'll do here. But if I'm not mistaken, look at that. Like, there's no way through... We're going to have to actually have to approach from the northern side of this town. Let's get that back up to max reinforcement. There's just so many hills in this area that getting through is going to be a real pain. Nice. So at least we got rid of all of the Japanese units here. Now we're free to pretty much reinforce these guys next turn. But the time is not on our side. Hello, Yaro. How you doing, man? Finally started damaging that um, that gun a little bit, and it must be because we've taken all of the uh, gunnery position gunnery positions up here on the uh, mountain. All right, I think that's an end turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore him for now. The the tent or the uh, enemy infantry. But you know what? We, when you start something, you gotta finish it. So there we go. Feel much better actually that we destroyed that. Let's end that turn. It's getting right down to the wire now. Eight turns remaining. All right, straight for Walt Ridge, of course. Uh, actually, if we can hit that artillery, we'll hit that first. Nice. Already having some effect. And 
wherever we can hit the artillery, we'll simply attack. But as you can see, that arty is going to really provide for the defense. So nope, I'm not charging there. Just to get over there, we're going to have to take some sort of detour here. unit is definitely looking worse for wear. Uh, I wonder if I can reinforce him. Yes, we can. Just a garrison battalion, but man, he's doing a good job. So I think the only way off this hill is that way or this way, like going this way. You can't just walk off the mountain, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty realistic. Right, all we can do is end the turn there. Nice! For once, we have the defensive artillery. Oh! Devastating defensive artillery. Okay, we might be able to take that Walt Ridge fairly easily. First thing I'm going to do, retreat with that infantry unit. Um, yeah, this one can get here, but he's going to have to go down this way, evidently. why he can't attack that's weird oh engineer combat battalion maybe just just because that's an engineer unit they can attack i have to say that's the first time i've seen that uh and again i'm gonna target their party that's the main threat nice man we're so close to just blowing that thing up That's going to be that. Here we go. It's getting really close. I don't think we can take that radar station in time. Uh, we could certainly take Walt Ridge in time, though. Man, we cannot break through there. So, okay, we'll get that combat um, engineer battalion out of the way. Push the tanks in. And again, we are not getting into Walt Ridge easily. Attack, and we're still going to take losses. Really no point in attacking with the uh, tanks. It's just not going to work out in our favor. At least we'll have some units to reinforce the guys attacking the artillery. But a hell of a fight just to get through here. I think to win, you absolutely have to take like three or four or five of those Marines um, and put them over here near Carlson Island, landing over here on Radar Hill. We put four of them over there, and we easily took the airbase. But the rest of the um, the rest of the push definitely requires you to have a unit closer. They just have way too many hills, mountains here on the way. But I'm still trying to break through there to Walt Ridge.
That's nice. Let's see, we can reinforce the first Marines. Pretty nice. There we go, boys and girls. We might not be able to move into Walt Ridge this turn. The next turn, it's ours for sure. Um, we'll keep moving north with a few of these uh, infantry units to try and take Radar Station, but again, I don't think we can get there in time. Just no way. Nice. Okay, there's no way we get there this this particular uh, battle, so I'm going to just go to the end quickly. I want to see what we uh, end up getting as a result. I think it's going to be a loss because we don't take, um, we haven't taken every single one of the points. Tremendous amount of artillery, of active artillery here on the island. Now we have 18 viewers. My gosh. It's like when we start a stream. Uh, even when a stream's like when we're doing well in a stream, nobody's around, and then when we start like getting towards the end of a battle, everybody shows up. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Make sure to hit that like button. We're not playing any ads on this stream at all, so uh, take advantage of that. I am kind of tempted to keep the stream going. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll take a look at the um, battles list afterwards, and you guys can can kind of decide. I wanted to do the Japanese invasion of the Philippines, but I'm not sure how simple it is, or how many turns it's going to be. Or even if you guys are interested in seeing something like that. Alright, that's going to be a GG there. Stalemate? Hey, at least we didn't get a loss. Um, I guess since they held that one location, I thought it would be a loss, but they do still hold the Amiangal Mountain location with the radar and all that. We've taken both air bases, we've taken the Five Brothers Ridge, we've taken the village of Nagardlock in the jungle, but uh, unfortunately did not manage to get to the end there. John says, this game reminds me of Talonsoft Rising Sun. I used to love that game. Speaking of Rising Sun, I don't know why it reminded me of, uh, but I really want to play some of the Command and Conquer Remastered Edition here on the stream at some point. Um, I think it might garner a little more attention than, our, than this particular turn-based title. I don't know if I'll keep streaming, but I'll at least show you guys the, um, what's it called? I don't want to quit the entire game. The other battles here. Um, so, as you can see, Operation Z, everything from Operation Z to the Road to Mandalay, which is the Allied advance to liberate Burma. Um, the one I wanted to kind of take a look at, at least, is the Philippines. 
And this is the Japanese invasion of the Philippines. I'm just curious to see kind of what it looks like. So let's jump in. Mm, we got a proper invasion. Look at that. Philippines don't look nearly as imposing as they should. <laughs> um, but that's interesting nonetheless. Banzai! Never mind, this is a destroyer. Let's drop the Tanaka regiment off. Doesn't look like there's much resistance here. Send the Kano regiment into Apari. Look at that. Wow, we really do have Philippine forces there. It looks like we have additional um, regiments here to invade the enemy. Infantry regiments, etc. So we'll send them over to Lagaspi. Ooh, we took a few landing casualties there. Of course, Manila is the prime target. It doesn't look like nearly like the invasion I was hoping for. Nothing um, monumental whatsoever. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that stream. Um, we mostly just played the Battle of Peleliu. Um, Again, I, I learn something new every time I do one of these streams, and it definitely seems like this would not be nearly as popular stream as, like, Close Combat. You guys definitely seem to prefer that more, and that's fine. It's, again, just kind of informs me for the future. The only reason we didn't play Close Combat 2 is because we literally cannot uh, play Battle of the Bulge on a stream. It doesn't work. Um, anytime we like try to press a button and we're streaming or live streaming or I should say streaming or recording, it just says action not supported and it closes the game. So I'll probably end up streaming a different close combat. Um, unfortunately we didn't get a chance with this one. So I do apologize, but thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you have